Today is my cover up tattoo day appointment. It's very early and I'm a little late. So I had to go right away, but I'll walk you through the process. I also don't think I've shown what the tattoo is today I'm getting. So I'm basically getting a touch up for my Sailor Moon tattoo and I'm getting a cover up. And this is the one I'm covering up. You can't, you can kind of see it over here. Once I'm early to my tattoo appointment and it's a nice day so I'm going to take my time and not rush. I came a little early for once and it's probably not a good idea because I really need to go to the washroom and I refuse to use the washroom in this area just because it's not really clean and sanitary and washrooms and tattoo studios are really nice like really really pretty and well decorated so Mary, if you're watching this, I've just been watching you through these reflections trying to see if you're here or not when I said I got here early, I'm also a dumbass because I looked at the wrong time and I thought my appointment was at 11, but it's at 11.30, so I got here way earlier than expected. Love that for me. There's this guy, this guy's like the biggest. Okay. And then medium. Mm -hmm. And then small. Small would probably have a bit of the old tattoo showing up, but yeah. if so, I could just try to shade the flowers a bit more. Yeah. Do you get nervous when you put the stencil on? Um, you know like the makeup panels? Like yeah. the ones that like have the borders yeah. and everything? Yeah, a lot of like linear lines. Absolutely, those <laughs> ones. Cause like the thing with the rectangle ones is like they're fine and they always work out in the end. So I'm just gonna have you kind of stand naturally. Okay. Hello, hello. I don't think I explained about the tattoo session for this video yet. So this is my second time returning back to this artist. And again, I'll link her handle on the screen. But for those of you who do not know, I've been following Mary for quite a while now before she became an apprentice. And I had such a lovely experience with her back in December. So I wanted to book with her again. This time it was for a cover up and a touch up. So for the touch up, it was for my Sailor Moon tattoo that again I did with her back in December and this was a flash piece that I claimed. The cover-up was the one that you saw in the beginning of this video and for those of you who literally could not recognize what it is, it's basically a very simple outline of Phineas's head, yes from Phineas and Ferb, 
and there's no significance to this tattoo to be honest. It was more so just something I decided to get on the whim with one of my coworkers because we both had tattoos and we thought getting matching ones would be kind of fun. And it was. I think the higher you go, the less painful it becomes. Yeah, that's why I tried <laughs> starting with the bottom. <laughs> no, I'm really glad you did that. <laughs> Oh man, where do I start with this? So from the beginning, I kind of knew that getting this was just going to be like a silly stupid decision and I had already known that I wanted to get it covered up at some point, so I have no regrets at all. From when I first got it up until the current moment of getting it covered up. Coincidentally, my touch up with Mary was just around the corner so I decided why not make this one big trip and get this covered up as well. And so I did. At the present moment, my coworker and I aren't as close as we were back then, so it was probably about time that I got this covered up. Again, let me reiterate that it's nothing deep and any more personal than what I just explained. I simply just wanted to get a cover-up tattoo. As for the design piece, I really like Studio Ghibli and wanted to get something Ghibli themed, so I kind of put all the pressure on Mary and asked if she could come up with something. To be honest, my brain was completely empty when it came to thinking of ideas for this cover-up, and for some reason, the only thing that came to mind were the little suit spirits from Spirited Away. But luckily, Mary suggested Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service, and honestly guys, like it exceeded my expectations. I think they didn't. My parents are definitely... Well, my mom's a little different, but my dad's like... Definitely the type of person to be like, I pretend not to see it. <laughs> Instead of like... That's a very... That's a very dad-like thing to do. <laughs> oh, it's definitely a dad-like thing to do. <laughs> or it's like, my mom, like, she's cool with it now, but I remember she has one tattoo. Mm -hmm. And I remember growing up, she was like, oh, never get tattoos. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> it's definitely a generational thing, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Because it's so different now. And both my parents really like my tattoos on my career, so... Have you ever tattooed them? No, my dad wants to get one. He's just deciding on what he wants to get. Okay, so as for the pain rating, I want to say that I have a high pain tolerance, but angle tattoos are really pushing it for me. Since the skin is very thin and close to the bone, let me just tell you that my teeth were clenched the entire time. I also don't want to say that the artist who did the Phineas tattoo piece struggled because it wasn't his like style of art. Then again, it was just a simple line work piece. 
but it somehow turned out the way it did. And let me just say that I did not like it. I'm really glad that I chose Mary as my artist for this cover up because she has such good tattoo ideas and a very gentle hand. And yes, like it did hurt because it was an ankle piece, which is understandable, but Mary's gentle hand made it so much more bearable for me than the previous artist, whom I felt was digging and clawing his needle into my skin. Hello, I'm in the shower and it's day three or four of having my touch up and my cover up on and I'm gonna peel off the second skin in the shower because I'm starting to get a little annoyed at it peeling off and my artist said to wait for three to five days so it's the fourth day I'm gonna be doing that right now This is the second skin of the cat. It's so itchy. New jeans posted and it's so fucking good. Oh my god.